Hey, what's up, everybody? Um, we'll be doing an app review. Blech. Got tongue-tied there for a second. We'll be doing an app review of um, Cerberus. Um, now, I've always thought to myself, what happens if you lose your Android smartphone? And I decided to look on the Internet and, and um, pretty much came across this. Now, this app has been around for a while. It's nothing new. But I decided to review it for those who follow my channel and my blogs. Um, if you're not aware that there's an app that exists, now you are. So the name of the app is called Cerberus. It's named after the, the little uh, three-headed dog that guards the underworld in Greek mythology. And uh, here, let me log into my account. But while I'm doing that, um, basically... This, by far, I have to say, is a very good security app. Um, think about it like this. If uh, you lost your Android smartphone, you would not only be able to just track it, but, um, well, we'll go over the features. Um, first, let me show you guys. Here's the app itself. Uh, you can buy a licensing for it to get the full support. Uh, there's contact support, there's uh, forums in English only, register, CTDM, of course this is how you set it up. Now there's these options here like, for instance, um, let me see if I can get this to autofocus, but basically like you can um, wipe your device memory remotely and uh, wipe your SD card remotely. Now, what that means is, say I lost my device, okay, um, the main portion of this app, which I'll show you at the end of this video, is actually on your computer, and say I lost my phone, I have the ability that if I know I can't recover my phone, I can wipe the memory and the SD card remotely from my computer so all my information is completely deleted off the device they won't get my contacts my pictures they won't be able to get into my email etc it will completely wipe it like a factory reset brand new um, and this is because you want to protect sensitive information like emails you know if you do online banking you don't want them to get a hold of that information um, if you have pictures of family, or as some people out there have um, private pictures, you don't want that to get leaked on the internet. Um, whether you posed for your your uh, boyfriend or girlfriend, you know, you don't want people getting that and putting it up on websites. You don't want to be exposed. And this app is very great because um, at the moment that you notice that it's gone. You can easily access it, access servers, and wipe your phone. Even if you're not sure if it's been stolen, if it's just lost or just misplaced, um, you can wipe your phone and you will not have to have that worry of, did anyone get my pictures? Is anyone uh, getting phone calls from somebody using my phone and pranking them or just whatever? You have that security in mind. It's good and relaxing. Um, there are other key features. Uh, one of the cool uh, key features of Cybris is that it can take screenshots as well as take um, pictures, which is really cool. Say, and this is where it's at right here where you set it up basically. Um, but, you know, you could from the computer set up a code. So, say, like you normally have your screen to where it's swipe to unlock. Your phone is missing. You haven't been able to find it. You're worried someone's got it. You can easily access Cerberus on a computer, set up a four-digit four -digit pin, and it will remotely change um, the settings in your Android phone to where now you have to enter a four-digit code to get into it. Now, what this part right here talks about, basically, um, the screen color is just to uh, set up, like, um, the... Uh, the pictures, the front-facing camera, and the uh, screenshots to calibrate it so it's um, clear and legible and whatever. 
Um, the wrong unlock code, which I have checked over here, is that if someone enters an unlock code incorrectly twice, my front-facing camera will take a picture of them, i.e., I will know who has my phone. Um, which is very great because, I mean, like, the recovery rate of getting back stolen Android devices is pretty low. Um, so at least uh, you'll have a face to uh, who you're going to press charges to and if you want to go to a small claims court to sue them for the amount of your device so you can replace it or just get the money back that you used to replace the device you have an idea because there would be a, you know it's like a trickle down effect um, whether the person that was using it bought it from the person who stole it then to you know pretty much cover their own butt they're going to go and give up the person that sold them the phone. Then, you basically have a ladder effect to actually figure out who the guilty parties are. And uh, basically, you'll be able to do your small claims and get the amount of what the device costs back. Also, have the person arrested, of course. So that's one of the really cool features about Cybris is that it's able to take uh, screenshots and uh, facial shots. It also has the ability to record. You can actually have the device record what's going on around it. You can set timings up to like 15 seconds, 10 seconds, etc. The person will not know, and the device will actually record. So it's basically going to be able to transmit back what's being said and what it can hear. Super spy stuff. Then again, that's what we're trying to do here is deter people from stealing, you know, your Android smartphone. Um, and that's actually pretty cool. So, yeah, you can set it up to basically record. Another thing you could do, which, uh, they, I mean, if the person decides, like, hey, it's not worth getting a felony charge, they're going to return a device or whatever, you can actually have Cybra send a message where it will notify the person who's holding the phone, like, hey, this device is stolen. Give it back. You know, it's just something in that scenario. And um, with that being said... I mean, sometimes people will just, you know, they see that, freak out, and probably throw it in a trash can or chunk it in a river or something. And which is why I said, you know, you you kind of like want all the features, like the the screen the screenshots and all that stuff, and uh, the portrait shots. And then that way, um, you have an idea of who you're gonna go after that stole your phone. Hopefully, the person that stole the phone will actually just be a little bit smart and kind of cover their butt and just be like you know, turn it in somewhere or turn it into a local Walmart and be like, I found this and walk away and, um, you know, you can, con if you're at Walmart, you can contact Walmart and see if anyone turned it in and uh, you'll get your phone back. Now, one of the things that I would advise people to do while using Cybris is, like I said in the very beginning of the video, where you, um, you know, you can wipe the device to basically factory reset and protect your sensitive information I'd suggest cloud storages I like to use uh, two different ones I use Google Drive and I use Dropbox and all my photos go there and after about two weeks of photos I wipe my entire phone of all the photos because they are backed up on a cloud storage if I want to get those photos back I can easily use Dropbox or Google Drive and uh, access my photos so hardly any of my photos ever stay on my device always leaves room for me to make and uh, take more photos and videos and so now we're gonna take a look at uh, what's on the PC okay so this is basically the uh, website it is at um, serverstapp.com I'll put the link in the description box to this video this is where you're gonna access basically um, to track your phone so I already have my username and my password already inputted so let's log in and take a look around and I will save the password for the site so as you can see it pulls up a map and basically gives a GPS reading of where your device is up here gives a device model and you can give it, in the next right here, this drop down, you can give it a command. The commands are in order. Start tracking, stop tracking, get device info, get location history, lock with code, 
unlock, set alarm with message, display a message, get call logs, get SMS logs, call the phone, send an SMS, record audio, take picture, capture video, grab screenshot, start emergency mode, stop emergency mode, hide app drawer, and show app drawer. With all these commands, it makes it so so, there's so much you can do to try to get your phone back if you lost it or if it was stolen. Like get, you know, get um, location history. You can see places that the phone has been. Um, get call logs and SMS logs. This is great for making a police report because you can give a list of numbers that you know you didn't call and that the police have to work with to track down who has the phone, who took the phone, and basically the whole story. Here's the feature I was telling you guys about, record audio. You can record an audio and the phone will record what's going on around it. Take picture and capture video. You can capture video of what's going on around or of the person and take a picture of the person that's holding the phone. Grab a screenshot, which is also pretty good. This one is my favorite. I did not know about this until now, checking it out. Start emergency mode. If you don't know what emergency mode is, basically when you dial 911 on any mobile phone, it keeps a GPS ping between the phone and emergency response. Basically, this is how 911 is able to find you if you can't talk, but you place a 911 call. They're able to track GPS, and their GPS is far better than what we're using here with maps. So, for me, I would definitely recommend this for anybody. Um, this is just a good defense to deter uh, people from stealing your Android handset. This is not available for iOS at this time that I know of. I know iOS has one similar to it, but it's not exactly as like this. It doesn't offer all these key features like start tracking and getting SMS logs and call logs and start emergency mode. This is like the command of your Android device. You can literally do things here. Like it says, um, lock with code. You can lock your device with a code and if you find your phone or if like a friend of yours found it and is bringing it back to you, you can unlock it. But me, if a friend of mine found my phone, I wouldn't unlock it until I got it back. So hopefully you guys like this app review of Sybaris. It's free, you can download in the market. Um, and I will also post a link in the description box of the website address. So in case you guys ever happen to lose your phone or if it ever gets stolen, you know how to find it. Thanks for watching and if you guys like this video and like this mobile app review, um, go ahead and hit that like button. Get, um, helps me out and if you haven't subscribed go ahead and click that subscribe button um, leave a comment keep it clean guys um, and yes thanks for watching